In this video, I want to share my thought process when it comes to future upgrades to my home theater. And I'm sharing it because I think many of us get to the point where we find some room in our budget, want to upgrade, but we have a number of potential upgrades in mind that we can't do all at the same time. Since I'm currently at that point, I want to share how I plan to prioritize my list of home theater wants. The subwoofer isn't so much an upgrade as it is an addition. I currently have an SVS PB4000. I've mentioned this before. It's one of my favorite components in this room. The only reason I haven't set up a second is because if you see my review of this beast, I ran REW and I get a pretty good response from my main seat. I have no complaints with its performance, but I'm hoping a second sub might take my home theater experience to another level by pressurizing this room a bit more and evening out the bass response throughout the room. I'm most likely to get a second SVS PB4000 or I'll try to trade up and go dual PB16 Ultras. GSG is also a consideration. I think once I find the subs that I like and suit my space, there won't be a need to change them again unless they break. I currently have an Elite Screens 180 inch Cine White 16 by 9 projector screen. It's a good screen for the price. One of the reasons I want to upgrade is whenever there's a more uniform bright image anywhere on the screen, I can pick up some sparkle. See more, Screen Innovations, and Stuart are all provided me with some sample material, all white, non acoustically transparent. All were far smoother in texture than my current screen. I'm getting a very good picture already, but I'm hoping that smoother texture translates into an even better looking image. It's hard to tell from the small sample pieces if that is true, but I could tell that there is far less sparkle. The gain across all the samples and my current screen is the same, it's 1.3, but there is really much less sparkle that I could see on the samples. I'll likely never need to purchase another screen, and there isn't likely to be a major advance in white screen material in the future, so upgrading might be something to do now, splurge for the best screen, and that part of my journey will be done. My Denon X4500H serves me well. No issues and audio seems great to me. I've never experienced a higher end receiver or pre-processor, so I'm not sure if I'm actually missing anything. I currently run 11 speakers, seven floor level and four up top. I don't see myself going past 11 speakers, but I like the idea of having the flexibility to run more and having the processor that could handle it. Whether there is a truly substantial improvement in sound quality between a regular AVR and a pre-processor, I plan to decide that for myself and listen with my own ears in my own space. And maybe there is between the room correction software and what I assume should be better processing. So I do plan at some point to try a pre-processor, something like the Anthem AVR 70. I got my Sony 325ES just before the announcement of Sony's new line of laser projectors. I have a pre-order for one of the new Sony laser projectors. I'm waiting for that release so I can do a side-by-side -side direct comparison to see if it's worth replacing my 325ES. On paper, it seems like it should be better, so I'll see with my own eyes if it's worth the upgrade. So if I'm ranking my priorities, number one would be the projector. If I'm going to sell it, I want to do it now while it's still fairly new and the hours are low. And again, the main reason I'm considering this upgrade at all is the laser. It's putting out more lumens and it has a longer, more stable life for a lamp. But I also want to see an even better picture. Second on my priority list is a toss up between the projector screen and the sub. I'm getting good performance really from both currently. I think either would be an improvement. And last will be the receiver. Not in a huge hurry here. My receiver doesn't have too many miles on it and it does what I need it to do. With this one, I plan to take the wait and see approach. I could wait and get the next big thing or I can wait and get the last big thing for cheaper. Really, I can sit back and read the market. What's on the used market at a good price or if there's some new model releasing on the horizon that fits my budget and needs. So that's my thought process. Again, I think many of us are, have been, or soon will be at the point where we're thinking upgrades. Wanted to share where I'm at in this fun, exciting hobby and pose the question to you all. What are you planning to upgrade next in your home theater? And what are you excited about? Mm -hmm.